it is finally here. This time, I'm taking a look at the Darius Cosmic Collection on Nintendo Switch. Make that a quick look, because I haven't spent that much time with it, but I have a general impression of how this game works. So the entire reason that I got this was because Darius Gaiden on Nintendo Switch, like, come on. But honestly, after playing it a lot, I'm kind of starting to fall in love with Darius too. But let's take a look at the games in the order that the game presents them in. So the first game in this list is Darius, the old version, but um, I don't actually know the difference between any of them because I haven't spent enough time with the first Darius game yet, but that's why this is just a quick look. I was actually super hyped to play it because I realized that the game was going to be in its original three screen aspect ratio. And it's really interesting. Uh, it's hard to see though in handheld mode, but if you're playing it on a monitor or a TV or something, it's, it's really interesting. I definitely want to get to spend more time with this game. Darius 2 is hot. The first level is really cool. It makes a lot of sense, but oh my god is it hard. Like, this game is ridiculous. I was noticing that the game also came with two versions of Sagaya, which is the international release of Darius 2, and I was thinking, like normally what happens is games get released in Japan and they get an easier version in the US or internationally, but no, that's not the case. Sagaya is really freaking hard too. Oh my goodness. As far as I can tell, the differences are pretty major. Uh, it seems like each version of Darius 2 has a different intro stage, and the two versions of Sagaya have two stages in a row, and then you get to start picking your branching paths, whereas in Darius 2 you always get to pick a different path. But the best part about all of them is that they have this awesome dialogue whenever you start. I always wanted a thing called tuna sashimi. I don't know why she says it, but it's so good. Darius Gaiden feels different. I, I, don't, I don't know how to put it. Something feels off, it feels a lot harder. This is probably because it's not the Saturn version. It's, it's the arcade version actually, which is the same version as the PS2 version. So I'm gonna have to break that version out again and see if that's the same as this, but it feels, feels harder to me. It could be because I'm not used to using a Super Nintendo-esque controller and I'm used to the Saturn controller, but I'm not sure. I can at least hear some sound differences. The lasers and uh, folding fans Beam attack sounds a little bit different as well. The one thing I am disappointed about is that they didn't give us the Darius Gaiden Extra version. I really wanted that because it has the uh, the all stage playthrough where you play every level alphabetically, and I want that so badly. Overall though, it's not bad. I like that you can save state. You can save state in any game. That way you can kind of save at a boss if you're doing well and practice playing them without bombs, which I'm really excited to do because I want to get really good at these games. And with that, we start entering into the special edition territory, which is the version that I got. Both of my friends who also bought this game got the regular version, so that's all the games that they have. Now with the special edition, one of the games that you get is the Mega Driver, the Genesis version of Darius 2. And I'm not gonna lie, this is probably my favorite version of Darius 2. It feels slightly faster than the OG Darius 2, but also a little bit easier. It could just be because uh, the sprites feel a little smaller, but the screen doesn't feel all that much smaller, even though the screen is actually half as big because it's only filling up one screen. But it feels really good. Like, it feels good to move. The graphics are super Genesis. The sound is super Genesis. This is such a Genesis game, and I love that about it. It really makes me want to go get the original copy of the game for the Genesis that I own. And then we've got the Master System version of Darius 2, or I, I guess it's Sagaya in this case. This version is so cute. Like, it feels like a little kid trying to be like its big brother. I love it. Like, let's compare the intro sound of Darius 2, Darius 2 on the Mega Drive, and Darius 2 on the Master System. I love it, it's trying so hard. But honestly, like, the bosses and the levels and everything, it feels really good. I, I think this is the easiest version that I've played so far, but it could get harder. I think it probably has a lot to do with the limitations of the hardware, but it's really cool. I would, I also own a power base converter, so I would love to pick up a version of this if I could. 
I feel like the only thing missing is the Saturn version of Darius 2, but I guess I'll just have to get my own <laughs> physical copy. And then it also comes with Darius Twin for the SNES and the Super Famicom, and as far as I can tell, they're identical, except for the language differences. Both are really solid. I've played them before, and I'd say it's easier than Darius Gaiden, but less forgiving, if that makes sense. Like, you don't lose power-ups ever, but you only have three lives. Like, there's no continues, and there's no way to put them in, so if you get killed, like, you are... You've lost a life, there's nothing you can do about it. Darius Force, I haven't really played this. I played it once and it didn't really do anything for me. I'll try it again, but I don't know, something about it just I don't like. I like that you can pick your own ship, but it's just not for me, I think. Darius Alpha is like if you took Darius 1 and only had one screen, kept the bosses the same size, and that's not like that's not that good. Like this game costs like a thousand dollars if you get it online for the actual PC engine, but I it's just not very fun. I guess it was a contest prize at some point, but I just don't like it. Like I, I would just rather play Darius 1. It's, it's I don't like it that much, but it's here, so it's nice. And we've also got a nice replay feature actually, uh, and also a game manual too. What I like about the replay feature is that it actually shows you what all of your button inputs are, which is really interesting. Back to the manual, it's nice that this is in here because the box doesn't really have anything. Like, there's not even any inside art on the Switch case, which is really weird. I guess I'll just have to make my own then. And so far, that's my experience with the Cosmic Collection. I'll have to come back to it and once I actually get good at Darius 2 and Darius 1 and give it its own closer look video. But for now, that's my quick look and I'll see you all next time.